Today I want to talk about something uh, serious, something that I've noticed in the past couple of days. And, you know, the whole point of this series is to talk about the issues that are coming up in popular news stories and in pop culture. I want to bring to you the mental health lessons and the psychological aspects to these news stories. That's why we do the Therapist React series. And in the past couple of days, I've noticed something that I think is really, really important. But before I get into it, I wanna introduce, reintroduce myself. I'm Elliot Connie, I'm a licensed psychotherapist and mental health is very important to me and the role in, that I play and the job that I do. So I'm really excited to be here and be able to share that with you. However, this topic is really, really serious and I wanna talk to you about death threats. There have been two scenarios in the past couple of days that have popped up where there have been death threats made to people and this has got to be addressed. It's an unusual thing, but there are two scenarios and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over both of the scenarios that are happening currently. One of them involves social justice advocate, uh, Tamika Mallory, who does really important work. She is currently in Kentucky, where she and an organization that she runs are registering people to vote. People have found the hotel that she's staying in and have made credible death threats that the FBI is involved in. She has to travel with security and all of that. And, and I mean, I get it. People get really up in arms about social justice issues. And I get it. People get really angry. But I don't understand threatening someone's life. I don't understand when you go to the level of thinking it's appropriate to threaten someone's life just because you don't like what they are doing. I mean, it, it's unusual to me. Tamika is an advocate to a, a group of people who have been unheard for a long time. And she simply wants those people to experience an equitable experience here in the United States. And the best way to do that is through voting. So she's helping people get registered to vote in Louisville, Kentucky, a place where there's been lots of racial strife in the past few years. And now she's having to deal with death threats being made against her. If you want to disagree with her, disagree with her but disagree with her legally, disagree with her appropriately. But there is something in this country that gets triggered when someone advocates for previously oppressed, unheard communities voting. And Tamika is just advocating for these people to vote. It's crazy that she would have to experience this from doing so. But it's, it's part of what we experience in this country and not surprising. The other issue where death threats hit the radar in the past couple of days is in the Colorado State Colorado football game coached famously by Deion Sanders who coaches the University of Colorado football team and the University of Colorado won the game but in the game Colorado has a very popular player very good player a guy by the name of Travis Hunter who was subjected to what I consider a dirty play and as a consequence of that dirty play he was injured and taken out of the game, taken to the hospital. The injury he has is a lacerated liver and he's gonna be out for a few weeks. And the player who hit him is a player by the name of Henry Blackburn. Now, I'm gonna be fully honest, just as I just said, I believe the play was a dirty play and it was either instructed by the coach or allowed by the coach. And the reason I can say that, I played college football, it just was a dirty play. Having said that, this young man, Henry Blackburn, has been receiving death threats. His family has been receiving death threats as a consequence of this play. And I don't understand. I think Deion Sanders summed it up the best when he said, Henry Blackburn is a good player who played a phenomenal game. He made a tremendous hit on Travis on the sideline. You can call it dirty. He was just playing the game of football. But whatever it was, it does not constitute that he should be receiving death threats. Dion went on to say this is a game. At the end of the day, it's a game. Even if it were a dirty play, this young man does not deserve death threats. Like, we need to understand that there is no coming back from death. There is tremendous anxiety being put on these people who are the targets of these attacks. And I don't understand it. I really believe that one of the problems we have as a society today, and this is why I think a video like this is really important, is we do not value life enough. Again, 
jump on Twitter or X now, Facebook, Instagram, make a video about how you disagree with Tamika Mallory. Make a video about how you disagree with the hit that this young man did in the game. Talk about it. But death is something that you cannot come back from. And we don't always spend enough time in our society valuing life. One of the greatest things you can do for your mental health is understand how precious life is and how this is your one opportunity to live it. I don't understand why people would try to take that from somebody. And I don't understand why anybody would spend their time on this earth trying to cause that kind of harm, fear, and anxiety in someone simply because you disagree with the position they take or their actions. We've got to do better. And if you know people doing this, call them out. This is not appropriate behavior. It gets us into trouble. It causes harm. And we can do better than this. And we need to do better than this. So I want to encourage everybody to cherish life your own and the lives of others. Even while you disagree with what people are doing, you don't have to be a hate monger and create death threats. So that's the point of this video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also comment. I love interacting with people who comment on my videos. It means the world to me that you guys take the time to watch these videos. So comment, let me know what you think of this video. Let me know what you think of this story. And let me know what you think of my request to ask people to be kinder and gentler to others, even if you disagree with a position they take. And please support this channel by subscribing and then hit the notification bell so you get notified each and every time we post a video in the Therapist React series, which is every single day, Monday through Friday. Thank y'all for being here. I love y'all so much. See you in the next video.